I'm going to show another option in the thumbnail that I just added. Uh, so this is mobile app mode. Um, been cleaning up the code quite a bit. Again, we're still trying to make courses responsive in a logical way uh, when they're primarily content driven. So if we go down to just something that has a bunch of content, you can see that I'm viewing the site on the desktop and then we're going to slide in and we'll see what the changes are as we go mobile. So you see less screen real estate, maybe we're on a laptop, um, maybe we're on a tablet that's in landscape mode. And then here we go, we get the snap point and we're at basically just displaying textual material. Um, you'll notice the entire interface is gone. The only thing that matters is the content at this point. Um, so title we don't care about, we have a footer down here, contact info block, and these navigational elements all disappear. And what happens is they get snapped into this bar at the bottom, which is effectively your uh, mobile phone navigation. You'll see this has a pretty decent size and layout, even all the way down. So I'm kind of creating snap points as you, or uh, not snap points, but uh, snapshots, if you will, of the uh, thumb nav module. And then that's what ends up getting these different modes. So, you know, there was the thumbs approach to the sides. Uh, there was a swipe approach, which is still there. And now there's this approach as well. So you can kind of use any one of these, uh, easily craft new ones. And this is a module, not theme related, so that it can uh, pull stuff more more related to what you're working on and work across themes, because we're not going to use this one forever, I'm sure. So you'll see what this does. It creates a, a little area down here. The API has been extended a little bit uh, so that it can create these, these little blocks. Um, you'll see, I can click this. So it'll just take me back to the home page. Um, I have my next and previous items to the side. So I'm going to click through here. So you're very easy to use. You can imagine having your thumb down the bottom corner, just clicking through. Hopefully you're on 4G, so this all loads quickly. <laughs> um, and now there's these additional options here. So let's move to something that doesn't have anything. Um, if you click the outline, what it does is it's adding this area to the bottom, very touch friendly. Um, so we have this for the highest level items. So to get a sense of what this looks like, move back out, you'll see we have these headline items at the top, there's a snap point where you can see it switch, there we go. So we've got this for the tiny nav, and then we've got this as a breakdown of course structure. Um, when we slide in, those translate the same, so we have the highest level course outline, and then the module outline as to what we're working on currently. So we can thumb down through here, pick the item that we're most interested in, nice big close button to close that up. Um, you'll see the background is nice and large, these things aren't really intended for use on the desktop. Um, let's go to the next one. It's right in the narrative. So if we click this, you see we get the contact info there. Um, close that up. If we do this, we get our course copyright information. So we still have all of that same information and our things here. Um, all the same capabilities as to when you move up. So all those uh, but condensed down in a very mobile friendly way. Um, still looking at possibly doing another approach, which is a kind of a top and bottom branding. Um, it's through some very simple user experience testing. It's very easy to see how, you know, I'm pretty deep within this structure here. Um, but once you move to mobile, there's nothing to indicate where I am in the course. Uh, I'm just on this page. Um, it would be nice to have some type of pagination, you know, indicator, like you're on page six of 12, even. Um, you know, putting the breadcrumb trail back in. I, I believe it gets ripped out at some point here. Yeah, so you'll see breadcrumb trail is on the full desktop version um, as yet another way of saying where you are. <laughs> um, so it would be nice to take that breadcrumb trail and actually maybe once you hit, not that snap point, that's fine to get rid of it, but once you hit this snap point, that the breadcrumb trail appears at the top, um, maybe with the word R10 there, because it's the name of the course. So, you know, it's something that brands it at the top, it also indicates where you are, so you could easily click back through those parts of the breadcrumb if you wish, or that you can you know, use these, these shortcuts at the bottom. So again, creating yet another variant of the thumbnail approach. Um, this one again doesn't need Quo or any other additional libraries, it's just has built-in support in the thing, but you'll need something that implements the widgets such as uh, BookTouch.